All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to create this really cool magnifying glass effect inside of Create Studio Pro. And it's pretty simple to do, and you can use this in lots of different scenarios. So I think you're really gonna like this effect. So what I'm gonna do is just delete these and start from scratch. And you can create any scene uh, as you like, like I just had with that previous one. What I'm gonna do is just create a really simple scene so that I can show you the technique. And you can use this, as I said, like on any scene or any composition that you create. So we can go ahead first of all and just add a background. So I've got a background here. I might change the color and make this a green color. And then I'm gonna add some text and let's say magnifying glass effect, okay? Like this, so I've got my text here and I'll just center that like so, cool. So we've got a scene. I'm just gonna select both of these layers, right click and group them and we can call this one scene, okay? And I'm gonna duplicate this now by using Command D or you can click on this button here or Control D if you're on a Windows computer. So we've got a second scene and I'm gonna right click rename this one Magnify. Okay, cool. So what you wanna do is have the same scene so they're exactly the same so that when you create the effect, um, yeah, you've got basically magnifying what was underneath so we've got these two scenes the next thing we want to do is go ahead and add a circle so you can go into the shapes just add a circle like so and then what we want to do is select the magnifying scene go to properties and just scale this up okay so we can just bring it up a bit bigger and this is going to determine how much of the effect it's going to have like how how big it's going to scale with the magnifying so the next thing we want to do is just simply select the circle and the magnify scene and right click on it and mask it, okay? And you'll be able to really see that we've got this kind of bigger one here. But if I go ahead and click on detach mask and then I'm going to go ahead and also add a border. So let's say about 20 pixels and I'm going to go and make this border white. You can see now that we've got this really nice effect, okay? And you can move and manipulate this as you like. And what we could also do is create some position keyframes. So I can simply position it off the screen and then hit P on my keyboard to create a position animation. And I'm gonna use slow fast for this easing and just move this over slightly. So yeah, about that kind of time frame. And now I'm gonna set the position up here. About there, looks good. And I'm gonna hit P again on my keyboard, drag this over and I'm gonna use yeah, have, have this on like so. And I'm gonna move this across now, like that. And this could be maybe slightly slower, so I'll make it a bit longer. And then I'll hit P again on my keyboard and I'll just position this off the screen. So let's just preview that. Cool, so we've got this nice effect. And another thing you can add to this to make it I guess like kind of like a magic trick you could do is if you open the group, so the magnifying group here, what we can do is add kind of other elements in here and they're gonna appear on the um, on the magnifying glass that weren't originally there on the actual initial scene. So you could, for example, add like this bird, for example, I'll just place it like this and go back over here. And if we preview this, because the bird's not in this scene here, it's not gonna show up on the main uh, first scene, but it's gonna show up within the magnifying scene. Like that. And so this is a cool way you can, if you just uh, click over here on the group, maybe we'll put this up over here. It's a cool way you can add kind of some fun and kind of mysterious elements to your scenes like that. As you can see, it's not visible. All of a sudden, it's in this one here. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to create a magnifying glass effect inside of Create Studio Pro. Make sure to go ahead and create one yourself uh, to play around with it and you'll be able to yeah, learn how to do this really quickly. So all you need to do again in recap is just to create a scene, duplicate the scene, and then you wanna scale the scene up so that it creates the kind of scale effect. Add a circle, mask the ma magnifying group with the circle and then detach the mask and that enables you to move this around. If you don't detach the mask, if you just have it like this, you'll be able to see that it's not moving properly. So you need to detach that 
and you'll be able to see you've got this nice effect here. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have fun creating.